My hair is extremely messy. Tomorrow we go on vacation. Wow. Wow. Um, today I'm going to try to be able to, but we might not get to it. If we don't, it's going to be said and I'm probably not going to post this. Um, but I'm going to be like, one second, let me get some room. Basically what I'm doing is I got this whenever I was in Florida, Orlando, Florida, and there was a bunch of zodiac sign ones, and I really wanted a zodiac sign one, but they didn't have Pisces. They only had Scorpio and Capricorn. And, um, so I got a cat one. Here you go. A perfect one. And it comes with a little necklace. With a little, with a little cap. And then it comes with the clam inside. And... Open, unopened and it says you and your special pearl granting the earliest Greek gods throughout ancient and medieval history pearl has been rec recognized as one of the most precious to find gifts indeed it symbolizes mystery um, I was going to know if I could do the clam thing and open it and get the pearl. I'm making a video for it. Huh? Okay. Um. Mystery and mischiefs in whatever this is since the beginning of human being history because it is accepted universally as a symbol of honor and we represent a, a wish waiting to come true. Each pearl must remain within the shell until being opened. That is very special person by that very special person. Only then will it reveal its unique beauty. Various colors a pearl can be chosen. White for wisdom, cream for success, peach for health, purple for wealth, black for love. Okay, that was weird. Um, and on the back it shows you like step to step how to open it and stuff. So one, open the container, make a wish, and open the thing. The necklace, yeah. So. Basically, you have to make a wish before opening it. That's weird. But I guess we'll do that. Never said I couldn't tell you my wish. So, this is like, the necklace is on a little heart platform that's cute. And, and it has a little cat in shape, and then you're supposed to open it in the back and put the pearl in. I have one of these, but I didn't have to, like, get a pearl and open it. It was already made. So it was a lot easier. I don't want to get the nasty pearl like, not the pearl juice. It's the juice on my hand, so I'm going to wear gloves. Because I think I do not want nasty clam juice on my fingers. I'm not a germaphobe, but I don't like things that are not supposed to be on fingers. Like, I don't know. You wouldn't like it either if a cat like pooped in your hand or something. So... Let's get on our gloves. One. And I have to get on the other. I'm just chilling. You know that adventure I said I was going on? Yeah. The adventure didn't come. Because today I was supposed to drop off my aunt at like 
place or something, and um, she canceled it, so I guess we're not going two hours away and then having to drive two hours back for a total of four hours. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just staying home all day, so that isn't that bad. Okay, we're gonna open the container. Oh, it comes with a little thing. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. Came with a little thing to open it. And it came with... Came with a little plume. And inside it says... People make wishes while God creates pearls. May your wish, special wish, always be granted. Wisdom for wise, success for cream, health for, for peach, wealth for purple, and black for love. You can bend it and stuff. It's like a little thing or something, I guess. And then it also came with another thing. Wait, it says, do not eat. Most cane is not edible. Do not drink. Liquid canes. Oh, it's alcohol. I didn't know there was alcohol in this. You don't want to get that on my hands. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Oh, oh, never mind then. <laughs> Boom just told me. Uh, so, we're going to. I'm gonna get the camera and we're gonna go to the kitchen because I'm not opening it right here. I'm getting everything wet and no, that'd be nasty. I don't, oh my gosh. I don't want the nasty pearl juice on my fingers or on the couch where I am currently sitting and now I'm getting up. Plus, who would want clam juice on their nails? That's why I'm wearing gloves. Okay. I don't know how to use it. Okay, I guess we open it like a little soda tab or something. Because it had a little soda tab on it. Do we open it? Oh, I'm letting out the juice. Juice is nasty. Get out. Now we just have the clam in there. them away after this because of it. Okay, we have a little little clam. Let's open it. Wonder if we'll get a look. Oh wait, we gotta make a wish. Okay. Made my wish. I have pearls from real oysters. Because my mom's friend my mom's friend just lives near a bunch of them, and she went one day and got them. Hey, I don't even know. I'm not even opening it correctly. I'm just peeling the shell off of the oyster. Okay, we got a pearl. We got this one. I don't know what it's considered. I know it's not white. I think it is cream. 
which I think, let me go check. It means success, so I have success right there. Wow. Ah, smells gross. Gloves in the trash. You go. And what a surprise, my hands are still clean. Okay, so now we're going to put it in... Uh, Gotta get all the cleaning things up out of the thing. Now we're gonna get Pearl out. There you go. My Pearl. And we'll put everything else in the trash. We're gonna go back to the couch and put it in the necklace. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get a necklace. Where the heck did the charm go? Oh, it just completely said bye bye. It's either health or success. I'm pretty sure it's success though. So, what do I have success on? Work? Do I have good work? In the future, or something like that. Okay, finally I got it open. There you go. Let's put the pearl in. They're small. All the pearls I have aren't this small. But there you go. There is it. 
I really wanted a purple. Next time we go back to Florida, I'm buying a purple one. Actually, I'm thinking about buying one at the beach while I'm there, and then coming back and making another video on opening a clam. They smell nasty. My cat is very interesting. No, interested in what I am doing currently. Okay, I just had to... Beautiful necklace. Wood dangly thing. That's all for today's video. There's not gonna be one tomorrow morning slash afternoon until we get to the beach and then I can get Wi-Fi and post them, okay? So they're probably all going to be while we're riding down, so I'll have to upload them later. Or I can upload them from my mom's phone. Yeah. I'll have to see. We got this cool, these cool movie projector things. Not projector things. Like, they were $150 for both of them. And they are awesome. And my mom installed them today. And she, we always wanted a, like, TV. Not like one of those mini TVs that you can put a DVD into and then it will come down and you can watch it. Yeah, we had that, but it's only in the front and the screens are little, so we can't see from the back. So, my mom got these. And... You can put headphones in, so you don't have to listen to them. This isn't my one, but this is another my uh, brother's one. I like to call him my brother, but he's not my brother. Basically, they're these big screens, size of my hand or so, and you have these little headphones. You, they don't come with headphones, but you can get your own headphones. And then you just press power on it, and they press super easily. And then it comes on. It says do not touch and stuff, the warnings, and then it starts a movie that you have in the DVD. Right now it's Harry Potter 1, The Sorcerer's Stone. And you can't hear it right now, because I have my headphones on. But now you can. And then you just cut it off by pressing the power button again, and there. My own personal movie in the back seat. And I have all my DVDs in here, because I've had a lot over the years. My whole DVD binder, it's filled up to the brim. And I can change them whenever I want. So, fun car trip for me. I get to watch a movie the whole time. And the fun thing about it is, well, one thing about it is, this one, the one on my side, is the one who had, is the one who, that has an extra back piece so it can have the DVD in it. But there is a connector cord to go to this one and that one, so it plays the same movies at the same time and stuff. So, one of, but both of, so both of them don't have the DVD player, so we, have, we can watch the same movie at once, because Ethan is like a whole big Star Wars fan, and I am a Harry Potter fan, fan. and so he like he wants to try out Harry Potter, so I, we're going to have like a little mini Harry, po Harry Potter marathon, been watching it since I was like four, I've been addicted to it for like 
I don't know, six years, have a, sh like, I have, like, a whole two shelves full of merch and stuff, like, wands, potion bottles, stuff like that, books. <laughs> I'm a big nerd. And so he wants to start getting into them, and I was like, oh my gosh, yay! So we're gonna have a Harry Potter marathon in here. So, yay. Peace. Bye. Wow.